Besides Siri, the next big feature, or actually this is probably the headlining feature of iOS 6, is the new Maps app, and it has been completely redefined, reconfigured. It uses TomTom Tom as a source of maps, uh, no longer uses Google Maps anymore, so that is obviously the biggest change with iOS 6, and it looks a lot better. I have to say I was skeptical at first about Maps when I saw the screenshots. I just didn't get it, but actually, once you actually use it, you get it. You understand how big of a change this is and how much better it works. You can see the TomTom Tom information there, but it works so much better. It's a lot smoother. It, it, it's easier to look at. It's much easier on the eyes. It has turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Yes, indeed, turn-by-turn -turn navigation. It will talk to you in a Siri voice and tell you where to go. Um, along with that, it also has an interesting 3D mode, which is which is pretty amazing here. And in fact, I'm just gonna show you right now. Notice in the bottom left-hand corner, you should see the little 3D button there. If you tap on that 3D button, notice how the maps kind of move to an angle to accommodate the 3D mode, which we're gonna enable by going to our hybrid or either our satellite view there. And you can see it a lot better. It's still in 3D mode regardless of the view, but with the satellite view, you get to see buildings and things of that nature, and you get to see them in 3D. Here is Chicago, downtown Chicago, right down by the lake. And of course you have all the big buildings down there, and they're all rendered in 3D, as you can see. When you zoom in, they start to define themselves. You're presented with a lot more detail on each of the individual buildings. You can really make out what buildings are which. As you see here, there's the, uh, I think that's the John Hancock building right there. And you can see it, you can zoom in, zoom out. You can also rotate it just like that. Now, if you use two fingers, notice how you can adjust the angle to see more of the horizon just by adjusting in with two fingers. Now, if you turn with two fingers, you can actually rotate in a circular motion just like that and you can kind of rotate and navigate around the city itself so as you can see the 3d mode is extremely impressive it looks just insanely detailed um, and it's a much 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 better implementation of maps than the previous google maps that we had in the past you can also hide traffic show traffic within this view you can view it in a hybrid mode so you can see what's going on traffic wise you can see streets and all of this is rendered in a 3d view which is extremely impressive to see in person it may not you may not be able to to really get the gist of how impressive this is just by looking at this video, but if you see it in person, you're gonna be pretty amazed. I think I think that's safe to say. This is almost like Google Maps, or not Google Maps, Google Earth, but it's completely, like, you can actually really use it in a real world scenario. Google Earth is kind of, uh, you know, you're not gonna use navigation with Google Earth, but this one you can actually, you know, locate streets and navigate, and it's gonna be practical to you. You're gonna actually use this out in the field uh, when you're trying to find a particular area or whatnot. So I'm in insanely impressed with the new maps. And as you can see, you have the globe view. You can actually spin around the globe just like this. Let me find a little spot here in Japan. Let's go over near, um, I don't know, let's go to Eastern Japan and see what's happening over there. So you can see, you can just navigate wherever you want to, locate streets, go into 3D view, view the buildings, all that jazz. And it is mighty impressive, let me tell you. So what do you think about the new maps on iOS 6? Are you as impressed as I am? Well, surely you will be if you see it for yourself. Again, you have turn-by-turn -turn navigation, you have 3D mode, and more. Let me know what you guys think about the new maps in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.